Hello and uh, welcome everyone. Welcome to my another playlist where we are going to talk about Type ORM with TypeScript and Node.js. Okay, so in my previous series, I covered a SQLize as a ORM. Now in this playlist, I'm going to cover about Type ORM. Type ORM, how to manage the relationship between different entities in Node.js, which is one-to-one -one relationship, one-to-many, many-to-many relationship, and how we can fetch data. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to start with the basic template of Express. What we will do, we will uh, inject TypeScript there and we will try to convert the code into TypeScript so that first we will create a baseline code which will be supporting TypeScript and we have to do few changes for supporting TypeScript for that. Then we will look at the type ORM. So first of all, what is a type ORM? Type ORM is an ORM that runs in Node.js browser and all different platform. And what it is helping us, it's ORM, object relational mapping, right? So it is helping us to deal with the database entities. It is helping us in creating data, inserting data, updating data and fetching data from multiple tables of a database. Uh, it is motivated from this Spring uh, Hibernate ORM because if you see the entity definitions for the type ORM in our database, it looks something like this. And these are kind of same which we were doing in Spring Hibernate Java frameworks, like defining the entity and then individual columns. So what we are going to learn in this whole playlist is first we will talk about basic node.js template. We will add TypeScript support. I mean, we are just using Express only. We are not going to use Nest.js here. We will just use Express based template. We'll add a TypeScript stuff in it like tsconfig and all the, the, the TypeScript build capability in the package.json script. Okay, then we will add the, the type ORM support. We will be using MySQL here. So we'll be just adding the MySQL and type ORM libraries in package.json. Then we will understand how we can create our services to talk to this type ORM database. So before that, we have to take care of uh, take care of creating the database connection with the type ORM. Okay. Once the database connection is initialized, we will be able to start our Express server. And from Express Server, we will be creating the same MVC pattern where we are creating the routes. Routes are taking the request to the services. Services are talking to the, the repositories, entity repositories of type ORMs and will be able to fetch the data. So most important thing in this is these points like how to define entities columns, how the entity manager works, what all different repositories, the, the cascade relationships between the uh, the tables two different tables having primary key foreign key because we will be using RDA BMS which is a MySQL here and we will be talking about all these kind of relationships okay type ORM supports all different kind of database so we can just talk about uh, MySQL here maybe with the NestJS we can explore other options okay then we will talk about how to create insert update delete the data in the database and we are not going to have a single table we can just talk about some blogging example where user has a post and user will have a should be able to comment so we will just try to showcase one to one one to many many to many many to one all these kind of relationships because when we talk about these orms it's all about how we can write migrations how we can write cedars how we can create a database connections and what is the ways to build the query while using these uh, different ORMs. So type ORM is little ahead from SQLize, I will say when it comes to the TypeScript support. SQLize is a matured framework for the ORM and type ORM is still evolving, but the TypeScript support in type ORM is very good. So that's why when you have a project with the Node.js TypeScript, then it's better to go with the type ORM. It is giving us this nice styles of defining an entity and similarly we will define the relationships also with the at the rate one to many many to many many to one okay so without delaying let's get started so what we will do is first in our project we are starting with a clean slate so we you can just fetch one express template and what we will do is we will start converting that express project into our typescript project so first of all uh, for loading the environment variables, we are going to use a .env module 
so you can just do a npm install install minus minus save so this is dot env module and you just need to have a env dot example or dot env file so that you will be able to load the configuration about database name username password and all then how you are going to import the express and all so we are going to use uh, so consider simply we are using the http server and then we will be just creating the express we will be just passing the express instance here this is our express so we will be importing something like this so what is going to change is the import behavior earlier we were just writing okay we were just using the common js way of importing things so i will just talk about that in the common js how we do it const express equal to require this is how we were doing it and then just uh, const app equal to and then pass the app instance here instead of doing that so now what we are just doing is we just changed our import style we will be just using the es6 way of common es6 way of importing the modules where we are doing the import export uh, named export and default export and here we are just using http server and passing the app instance okay we have a env files from where we will get all the environment variables that will be available in the process.env okay and we have a, our package.json package.json will have all the initial scripts and what we just need to take care about the typings which we have to add about the express and node so now we are talking about the typescript here so we have to talk about the typings available so if we are using the express with the typescript then add the typings for the node and express and for other testing library like i have a Mo mocha achai bluebird bcrypt all the other old package also has the type definitions so we might be wondering what this type definition is if you are new to typescript world so this type definition is nothing but those are having the type data okay like you are using the fs module core module dot net module all the modules are providing some set of methods right so typescript is enabling okay if you are calling some method of those then you might be getting some type so um, these type definitions are nothing but the expose interface the classes and all which you which has the type associated with them and while importing them we also need to declare the type okay so let's get started in the next video we'll just integrate uh, more stuff about typescript like introducing the ts config ts lint and ts config is the minimum thing which you should have in your project if you are compiling your code with a typescript and how we are going to set up our build and debug thing with the typescript project that we will check in the next video